It's Saturday morning and I'm back home from being away the last couple of days working and um, Mark is in full at it with his best mate Joe. Hello Joe. This is funny. This is the bear crawl. We are going in now with the bear crawl. Let me turn it around. Drive up. Fuss those hips. Into the air. Fuss those hips, baby. Into the air. <laughs> Do you feel more berry? Hey? Do you feel more berry? Berry? <laughs> this is the berry. bear <laughs> Make a bear sound. Oh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Oh. That's not just doing your hand, you know, your glutes and your hamstrings. It's hitting your core, your arms, your triceps. It's a brilliant little move, that's so. We love you, Jill. Make silly at first. <laughs> Feeling like a winner, Mark. Not a minute. <laughs> Yeah, that's real. 15 seconds. It's feeling like End a winner, Joe. <laughs> no, why are you feeling like a loser? Total loser. <laughs> what is so funny? She's posting an Insta story of me struggling to exercise. <laughs> Not in a minute. Because <laughs> 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 you were clearly close to death. <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> 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 if you want to know what she's loving at, go to Insta Stories. <laughs> oh, don't say it's gone. I thought I thought I said I'd feel like a fucking loser. Where's it gone? <laughs> 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 what do I say afterwards? I feel like an absolute fucking loser. <laughs> What's the second thing I say? I, I feel like a total fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> when you are, you're losing weight. I'm going to have a shower. This loser's going to have a shower. Oh, here we are, super stressed. And it's a shame, really, because we both got up early, did what our hits. I'm still laughing about Mark's hip. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. But we've got to get to the passport office uh, because we're doing a one day passport um, interview and they are so religious about the times because we're going away next week. Yay, viva la España. And Maddie hasn't got a bloody passport. So if we miss the slot, it's like over a hundred quid. You're joking. What do you mean? A hundred quid for this? Well, it's for the for passport. The slot. Oh. oh, and the passport, and the passport, the I'm interview. But you pay extra for, I've meticulously for filled the in interview. the form, got the photos done, got them signed. And it, and what's it like? What well, our um, Stephen, you know, that's doing our room, was saying that he had to do, he had to fill in his passport form nine times. Nine times. They make it so bloody detailed and complicated. I've, I've before when I've gone to get an emergency passport, I've ended up having to come home without it because I've made some tiny mistake. Like if your if your signature goes out one teeny bit out of the box, you're out. Anything wrong? I doubted I was her father as I was writing it down. <laughs>
Um, the other thing is you have to have it signed on the back of the photo, and then if it's not signed... Strictly speaking, she should be doing it herself. She's an, she's an adult. Can you imagine Maddie mm. going and <laughs> doing her passport? Oh, my God. Um, but anyway, so, so we're very stressed. Yeah, because we've got now 40 minutes, and we're three and a half miles away, which in London... Could turns. mean anything. Theoretically, we're 12 minutes away, but it could take us an hour and a half. <laughs> That's no joke. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Saturday mornings. What happened? Huh? What happened? I thought I got everything absolutely slam dunked and in the everything right. And so the witness, who was her tutor, yeah, hadn't put her passport number down, which was fine. No, no, no. She, and I, so I was meant to recontact Haley last night a reminder, which oh, I'd forgotten. Oh, Mark. So as this she went, this is a problem. No, anyway, the woman looked at it and she went. But we haven't got the passport number of the witness. Oh, so I was shit. like, oh, so we're not going to get the passport? No, no, no. And she looked at me and she went, it's fine. Which I thought, mm. well, that is so un I, I just batted my eyelids. I have, time and time again, been sent away from this office because one you know detail I, or another is wrong. Do you know what I said? That is a miracle. She I must said, have you. I said, smashing it. <laughs> smashing it. She said, you do look like Joe Wicks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so we are going to get it then? Yeah. Th so we are going on holiday? Yeah, yeah, three o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've got a couple of hours. Should oh, we book cool. a hotel and just go for it? Yeah, go on. <laughs> Fuck it, let's do it. You get the champers. All right. Um, so what are we going to do? I'm starving. Are you? I want a coffee. Yeah, I'd quite I quite like every... lunch. Well, let's not get in the car. Let's get on well, the tube and go into parking. town. Can you believe this? I parked. I just pulled up in central London. He was getting London, so incandescent. So stressed about parking. And no, you were was... getting so incandescent trying to pay, weren't yeah. you? Yeah, and then it was free. Couldn't work it out. He's ringing the number. He's going, they won't let me pay. They won't let me pay. We're going to be late. We're going to miss our appointment. And it's Why free. do you want to get on the tube? Do you want to go into town? Uh, yeah, well, let's, so let's find a coffee shop. Okay, coffee first. Coffee first. Oh, my God. What would Joe say, Mark? Go, go, Be a go. little lean winner. Yeah, there's no leanness oh, there. Oh, they even make tiny ones so you can just have one, just hey. pop it in your mouth. Look, they make teeny ones. Mouth bites on. I really want a cupcake. <laughs> oh. You went from Joe Wicks, I'll have a cupcake now. Oh, look at the colour of them. Oh, they're cute. It's not very good, I, is I it? Really, it's, huh? it's, it's not very good. Remember when the girls used to say unicorn? When the girls would say what? They'd say unicorn. 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 Joe would say wrong if I did that. Just wrong. You're Joe not would say lean wrong. Winner, are you? I want to be Joe's top boy. I want to be his little lean winner. I want to be his, what is it, teacher's pet. I want him to tell get, him I want him to drape. Can you tell the guys that he sent a message to us saying, tell Mark he's a little lean winner. The other thing I was going to say, what was the other thing I was going to say? I really, really want to know what his hair's like. I want to touch his hair. Touch mine. No, no, Similar. it's nothing like his. <laughs> Not as curly or nice. We've never been on the tube together before. Yes, we have, you absolute idiot. You just talk rubbish all the time. Eh? Hey? Well, that's nice. I, I used to dream of that happening to me just from strangers. They look great, Get don't they, off today? Her. <laughs> We're just heading in towards Bond Street, which is like the poshest part of London. Yeah, and it usually means that tasteless tat is put in windows. Look at that! Wow! Oh my god, that's so beautiful. That's what our peonies are going to look like. Mark, why can't we have an area just like that? They don't have to be real. Oh my god! So many places in London do this now. It's very clever because it draws you. That's great. Right. You know what that's almost like? It's like a viral growth. Oh, I want to show this to my mum. Mum, look at this. My mum would love this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at those, Mark. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're not slippers. I think people wear those out. Look, oh, with that. Okay. With that. It's hideous. Oh, my God. I couldn't bear it. Imagine if a... How would you feel, Sobs, if somebody turned up for a date dressed like that? Man? Yeah. <laughs> Where's a waistcoat? Oh my god! This is as well. That's not for a man. That is. That's a man. This is a man's shop. Oh, the shoes. Oh, they hideous. Oh, I've just suggested a greasy man. Greasy look, man. look, look. It's funny. It's so exclusive here. See that man over there? See him? 
Eh? See him? It's so exclusive. He came out to examine you. <laughs> Seriously, security came out. They should probably call the police for being because they're, they're, well they're, they're checking out. Who are these really impoverished? <gasps> I want one. Oh my god, you cannot have that for your shelf before you even start. Do you think it's made of gold? You want that for your room, don't you? Yes. No, move. Do you oh think look, it's made of another gold? one. Yes, solid. Oh, so cool. Oh, that's a great photo, isn't it? Isn't it? Being a Londoner, being a Londoner, you obviously have a knowledge of every part of London and obviously I've been in and around this area. Uh, very, very rarely have I bought things in this area, but when you pass when you pass these shops, hang on, when you pass these shops, you see people sitting at tables with with ledgers yes. making notes about stuff. Yes, you do, you go in thinking and you about sit down Yeah, sit down and you sign away your life. Yes. You don't just go in and buy a watch. They write sit down. old fashioned checks from old fashioned bank accounts that have a multitude of zeros all over, over it. to the security man. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, what kind of a life do you have to have you to wear there. shoes like that? What kind of feet? You're only must going you have? on, you're only walking. <laughs> I mean, they don't fit. What any kind of legs foot? do you have? Any foot that I know could go in that So you've shoe. got to be in carpets, you've got to be in marble, you've got to have marble, you've got carpets. to just have... Carpets, the word carpet is... You've got to have it? very smooth carpets, haven't you? Because they get ruined, they get ruined Darling, in two seconds. Darling, the word seconds. carpet isn't even used on this street. Carpet? Carpet. They walk on marble. Marble and carpeted floors. Did you just say what? Shag bar, yes please. <laughs> What is that? That's like an old swimming What costume. is it? It's like a pair of pants that people try and see. And then put on your head. It's like Peter Pants on your head date. <laughs> Isn't it? Put uh -huh. your pants on your head date. She doesn't let one off in her face. Oh, look, you've got to shoot the window for, for shoot the window for oh, Kiki. Yes. Kiki, oh, look. Beautiful, is you that? You see what's in there? Bugs. <gasps> We've got to bring Kiki here. We do actually. She just loves Alexander McQueen. Wow. Beautiful. Wow, look, it goes right across, look. Ooh. Ooh. It's beautiful, look. Butterflies, butterflies and bugs. This design is so cool, isn't it? It's a dream shop, girls. It's Tiffany's Diamond. Look at that necklace at the back. I don't think I'd like a bug. A butterfly. I wouldn't like a bug. It's not a butterfly. This is a dragonfly. It's a dragonfly. Dragonfly. Have we had to give them a good shot down here for those that don't live in London? And up here. VV expensive. Full of security guards outside every, every single, single shot. Building. So every time we're filming, we're having to do it quite surreptitiously and then move yeah. on quite quickly because they start moving people. towards us to tell us to stop filming. Yeah, they've even got a helicopter out for us, mate. <laughs> hmm? It's always not a good idea to come to places like this because we don't actually need any of this stuff. But you do find yourself saying, oh, I'd love a diamond. Oh, I'd love a pair of Chanel shoes. Oh, I'd love a £5,000 handbag. But, is it but if you don't know it's here... You don't want it, do Can you? Can I just say, is it me? But a lot of it looks really garish. Yeah, a lot of it is. Just because it's Most expensive it, doesn't mean it. it's tasteful. Most of it, I wouldn't want it if they hashtag gifted it. I mean, I've never seen people with feet shaped like the shoes that are designed for them. Mm. Lots of very suntanned people. Yeah, incredibly wealthy. Lots of wafting, wafting, uh, aftershave, yeah. expensive arching. Yeah. Lots of girls with toned and honed figures. I can't believe I'm here in my hoodie. No, near normally. And my, and my amoeba t-shirt. And my sports bra. <laughs> I know. Look at this chap. Oh, he's a bit of a dandy. He's a bit of a dandy. Look, see, he goes behind us. See him with his see hat. See that? He was looking down so we Look didn't spot that. him. How hideous is that? Do you know what that is? That would be thousands of pounds. That is hideous. It's, it's a safe. safe. I know it's a safe. It's got a bloody great lock what on the front. What would you keep in a safe? Nothing. I haven't got anything to keep. My photos, I suppose, are the most... Your dignity? Precious things. Don't feed me lines, darling. I don't need you to. I'm giving you suggestions. There's one for you. What do you think they're queuing up for? Oh, look, she's all over this man's pants. Pick your pardon? Yeah. 
it's that a bloke's outfit. That's yeah. not a bloke. Isn't it so? It's not a bloke's it is, outfit. darling. It is. That's what they wear. Who's they? Christian Dior. That's thousands of pounds. That outfit. I know it's thousands. You know pounds, where you'd see that like my Bayer. You'd see that in my Bayer and Saint Tropez. Like <laughs> Oh, look at the cat. Yeah. Look, it's got a CD on the back. Is that me? Oh, yeah. Look, look, across the road, another security guy over there. See him? See him? Security guards. Security guards everywhere, babes. Finally. Yeah. Now, what do we think of the pants? <laughs> the pants. Do you think that um, works, Mark? Is that you how think you'd wear feel, it out? What do you feel in this? Is that how you'd wear it out, or those underwear? Do you think you might feel a little vulnerable, Stubbs, look, with your pants? Like, you know what? If and your necklace came... round, round your tummy. If I found myself talking to a woman wearing that, I would absolutely shit myself. <laughs> what would it say to you? Well, I don't know. This one. I mean, this, you can see that's a sort of a thing of beauty and craft and everything. It's been crafted, but it's fucking hideous, isn't it? Yes. Don't ever, ever wear that outfit. <laughs> you know what? Hmm? Thank God we'll never have the kind of money you need to wear any of this shit. Incredibly stressful having to wear this clobber. Awful. awful. I mean, I'd look like an absolute awful. douchebag with a cap and stupid shorts on and silly flappy. We should try dressing up with some of this stuff. we've got to the end of Bond Street and we're so relieved we're never so going to be wealthy enough to go into any of these shops. So relieved that I don't have to wear that stuff. And if I met a woman wearing any of this gear that's out, I don't know what I'd think of her. It just passed her I'd melt. Hang on, hang on, just turn around like we're talking to her. What do you think those orange rocks are signifying? That's carbonite. Okay. It's a superhero uh, metal. What the hell do they signify? Is that what it is, or bursting out of the... Bursting out with oh, power. Oh, okay, that's quite clever. So what's this? That's the orb of originality. Hideous, <laughs> isn't it? What's that? <laughs> it's Hermes, that's very expensive. Hermes. And it goes on and on. Isn't it? And it's never ending, tasteless wealth, eh? Should we go and get another I coffee? I want another coffee. I need a double espresso. I feel quite sick. I feel a bit weak. I don't know why. This, I just don't know why. It, I mean, you need tens of thousands of pounds, don't you? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't want it. If I had to buy you something, where would you? What would you want? Can you take me to? Like. I know where a Starbucks is. Oh, look at that cape with flowers. Ooh. Oh, look at that toffee meringue. Ooh. Unicorn. We're in the middle of Soho, so this is where me and, well, it's where I used to work. Have you ever worked in Soho properly? Why are you doing I mean, voiceovers and stuff? Not permanently. Let's have a look around here. Oh, look, I to remember this being a thing when I used to work here. Look, celebrity dry cleaners. Babe, hey, look, there's a British adult shop. Yalla, Do you know what yalla. that means? Don't you think this is a British shop? Look at it. It's Isn't it? Why should I go in there and get my dad some? I think some. you should go in the adult shop. I'm talking about falafel wraps and you're talking about sex. I'm talking about falafel wraps too. Sexy <laughs> Huh? What's up there then, don't you? <laughs> What's up there then? What do you think? A sexy blonde model? Are you wanted to go and see her? Now you're just getting <laughs> weird. Stop it. <laughs> wow. Now your second so ironic. wife so ironic. would approve of this. My second wife, yeah, Joe. Joe would love this. It's all yeah. protein. And also, in a street where there are lots of models, sexy blonde models, you can get crabs. Mark. <laughs> So this, this used to be the seediest, seediest corridor through Soho. And look. He says that, can you hear that? He says that with a tinge of regret. Tinge of regret. Well, I do think that was the charm. Look, you can see, here's the photos. Look, that's what it used to look like. Yeah. It's all being done up now, isn't it? Full of pervs. So what are these all going to be Full of pervs and alkies. Oh, look, there's a, a last few. Look, oh, look, you can buy some Viagra in there, babe. <laughs> Viagra. Will it let me clean the house quicker? If you put a brush on the end of it, it will. <laughs> what happens if a woman has Viagra? Um, I think you just stay up later. <laughs> to 
get more washing done. Don't fall asleep on the sofa. Oh, well, that's kind of good for the bloke, though, isn't it? Where's your favourite little shop? I like that shop. Cartoon shop. Oh, look. All fake. Hey? I love fake flowers. You're a bit of a fake, fake flower. I am a fake flower. Aren't you? Oh, I love those big hammocks. The thing is, we just leave it out and it'll get just destroyed. Yeah, nice. How many different kinds of weird is that? What kind of sexual activity are you into? Sexual if you want to. I wasn't even thinking of sex. That's perfect. You've got a one track mind, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Nadia Tawara, for telling. Yeah, you were. And that, and that. What are you thinking? I think I'd look great in that. Since we've been in Soho, Nadia's got a one track mind. Look. This is where I got the fabric for my wedding dress. Okay, mission accomplished. She was a very unfriendly woman, that woman. Very well, unfriendly. you were lucky with the first one, I yeah, tell you. Yeah, she said, who are you? Who's it for? It's not for you. Really? You're not Maddie. I said, no, I'm not Maddie. I'm my father. Where's your letter? Where's your passport? Mm. Well, but, no, but it's good. They have to So be. you must have paid for it before we went in. Yeah. Ah, I was waiting to be... I was expecting oh to be Oh, my tapped. God. What? You've got a film. What? Guess who from? No. Your crush. No, my man. My main your man. man. Turn the camera around. My so main the man, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It disappears. It's one of those on Instagram. If you play it, oh, shit. it won't play okay, again. I'm... Okay, ready? Oh my god. Was He's he? naked. Mark, you are a Saturday morning winner. <laughs> I haven't worked out yet, so you've done more than me. So uh, good to see you training, mate. I'm glad you're enjoying the recipes. And um, I think there's a little bromance form between me, <laughs> which is uh, good with me. So have a good day, mate. All right, guys, lots of love to you both. Oh. You are a Saturday morning winner. I haven't worked out yet, so you've done more than me. So, uh, good to see you training, mate. I'm glad you're enjoying the recipes. And um, I think there's a little bromance for you. You're damn right. You're damn right there's a bromance. <laughs> so, so, I'm a Saturday morning winner. It's a Saturday morning winner. Look, 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 me and him. Me and him, me and Joe. Me and him look quite alike. Me and Joe, yeah, it's the better than Anselm facial hair. Saturday morning winner. I haven't worked out yet, so you've done more than me. So, uh, good to see you training, mate. I'm glad you're enjoying the recipes. It's naked. And um, I think there's a little bromance form between me and you, which is... Uh, you know what it. What about me? Uh, you know Where it. Where do I come in this? Sling your hook. Mark, you oh, are so lovely of him, though. He, he was so compelled. He was on the loo. He had to contact me. I mean... And, um, I think there's a little bromance form between you're me You're damn right. Which is, uh, Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if he'll take me on a spa trip to Ibiza. <laughs> Stop it. I fancy it. I think that's me and so him do. Nice. I want to do the bear and crab with Joe. With Joe. Because you're a little lean winner. That's what he calls you. And I've done my workout before him. <laughs> I feel like teacher's pet. That is so cool. Oh, Kiki's going to love that. Oh Wait God. till we show that to Kiki. That's so funny. Oh, that's so cool of him. Yeah, I was looking forward to showing off my hair. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, think, you think, do you think? I think a mullet would suit me. Oh, yeah. Why not? Yeah? Let me do this. I found out I know <laughs> what that tree is. Oh, what is it? Okay, so, um, <clears throat> bless her, Nadia's very, very tired. So I said to her, go upstairs, have a lie down, and wake up later. Nothing demanding about tonight only the Eurovision Song Contest. And I'm now going to go and water the plants. So this isn't green-fingered hell exactly, but I am in the garden. Um, so, what do you think about Boris Johnson possibly being our new Prime Minister? Oh my God, I don't know how I feel about that. I tell you what I can't shake from my mind is the image of him and Trump on the global stage. And then if there was a terrible gust of wind, their hairs, their individual hair, heads of hair, could become interlocked and they'd become snared in each other in a sort of strange, curious, sort of fusing of two incredibly blonde, hirsute men of a certain age with their hair blowing in various directions. I don't know why, it just doesn't strike me as a sort of strong image for the world stage, does it you? Boris with his, I noticed I saw a photo the other day of Boris with his shirt tucked out, um, not tucked in, let's put it that way. I don't know why, it didn't sort of make me think of statesmen. Interestingly, Kiki nearly got run over by him years ago. He was on a bicycle riding through Islington, 
and we he had to dodge out of his way. He wasn't going to slow down. He was a bit of a bit of a angry cyclist, a lycra lout, I think, Boris Johnson. If he wasn't such an Etonite bully, I could take to him. I mean, he was London mayor. I didn't have a major problem with him when he was London mayor, but I think there's a big difference. Anyway, what do you think, Boris Johnson? Who would you prefer to see leader of the uh, Conservative Party and thereby Prime Minister? Nadia's name for our female followers is lovely, Vlogettes. So I'm thinking that for the blokes that follow us, and I know there aren't many of you, but there are some, I'm going to call you Vlokes. The Vlokes and the Vlogettes. Anyway, Vlokes. Do you ever used to have competitions in toilets where you used to try and see who could wee the highest? We did. Oh, I've just hit the tree. Hey, Timber! Hey. I'm doing a job. Oh, thanks, babe. It's so nice having you on hand to cook things. Carrot. Aren't I lucky, folks? Um, what do you think of women-only clubs? Members' clubs, like Soho House, but just for women. I think it's a really nice idea. Why? Because sometimes, for the some kids, when you go out with a group of women, obviously now not my age, but when you're younger, men, all men assume that you're out looking for a man. And sometimes you're not, you just want to spend an evening with women. From what I sense from you and most of the women you know, most women are never out looking for a man. Well, I'm not in that age group, am I? Nobody's ever looking for a man I go out with. But why is it considered bad if men want men-only clubs? Because women aren't predatory in the same way that men are. Men don't get hassled by women, do they? But women get hassled. I mean, OK, obviously, there's always exceptions to the rule, but not in the same way. Mm. I mean, like, sometimes it used to be a right pain when you were younger. You'd get every bloke would come up. Groups would come up. You just couldn't. You'd end up going home. Really? Yeah. I mean, I suppose it's something I've never experienced. Exactly. Yeah. Because you're unknown. But yeah, I think these are women... And a, an an organisation called The Wing that was established in New York mm -hmm. is opening its first women's only club in central London, members of which include Game of Thrones actress Amelia Clark, wow. uh, the model Poppy Delevingne, uh, Lena Denham, I think, is one of them. So I think, oh, it's, yeah. I think it's much more sort of Soho House thing. But why at the Soho House level would you cry at? a women's only club because so you're not going to Soho House to just eye goggle people to eye goggle people oh. well yeah I mean it strikes me as odd I can almost understand women only pubs or women only nightclubs but a woman only sort of you know elite club what's that about I suppose there's been many for men but I don't agree with many of them being for just this men Mark, it's a totally different thing because men always have the, uh, the power in them the power balance, don't they? What do you think, so? How often guess... does a man feel hassled in a bar by women? I, well, at the not as much. Okay, sometimes, but not as much. I have to say, in recent weeks, I've noticed an increase in the hassle I'm getting. Wow. I'm getting a lot of hassle from people like Joe Wicks. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm being a bit devil's advocacy, really. Yeah. But I, 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 I mean, it's just... Yeah, I get it. safe places. You want to, it's like a woman's only yeah. cab firm. I, I personally think the idea of a woman's only cab firm God, is perfect. That, that I would really buy into. That's such a good idea. Safety, all that kind of, that, none, none of that. Se the amount of times I hear the sexist chatter that comes from drivers. Oh my God, Mark, that's what you're getting. Hey, say what? I'm that's starving. What you're that, well, that's everything. That's 220 grams. I'll tell you what I haven't had is a snack today. Oh, you're supposed to get... Oh, hang on. No, oh, hang on. No, that was the wrong amount. Yeah, 210 grams of tuna soup. I'm going in for... Oh. But you know what? It is good, Joe, because there's also peanut butter involved with this, which is quite filling. You know, the dishes are good. They so, are... Um, what, what are your feelings about the Eurovision Song Contest? I haven't really got any. No, I haven't either. People try and get really excited about it. I can't get no. excited about it at all. The music is shit. Well, my friend Simone does it every year and she does it like big star shit. They have a big party. Oh, right. And then they have dishes from every country that is, is 
uh, competing. So each time somebody sings, they eat from that country, which is such a cute idea. But Simone is really cool, and her husband's also cool, and I bet they're doing it in a sort of kitsch. This is kitsch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that, I think that would be quite fun. Yeah. I think that's a great this. idea. Mm, peanut butter. Sriracha, you love this stuff. Can I just ask a question, though? Mm -hmm. To our subs. Given that it's the Euro Eurovision Song Contest, like, this struck me when I was a child. Why is Israel in it? Yeah, it's, it's weird, that. I don't they're know. not in Europe. It's weird, that, isn't it? Like that extension, let's have, I don't know, Libya. Why not? It used to be a massive thing, though, the Eurovision Song Contest, when I was a kid. Terry Wogan would be on. My nan and dad. My nan and dad it would have it It was kind of fun, wasn't it? You'd all get together. What do you think so? I think it was more a case of the Brits wanting to conquer Europe again. I, I, I always thought there was a real sort of nationalistic fervour. It was ridiculous that we just couldn't win. When there was every, so everyone much hates rap. us. God, it'd be interesting so to see how much they hate us tonight. I wonder what, I wonder whether with the Brexit thing, I wonder whether the Brexit thing, we're going to be loathed even more than normal. So that we're just going to get nil pot. Mind you, we get nil pot anyway. Can you get negative pot? Negative pot. Negative pot. Angleterre, nil pot. I used to get... Remember the humiliation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. Well, I, to be honest with you, I remember the humiliation and then I felt slightly more humiliated when, what was the band that won where they tore each other's skirts off? Do you uh, remember? Fizz. You go to your mind up. That was more humiliating than losing, I thought. They still do that. But they everyone was that. so excited. I didn't get it. I was only seven or eight. I think for Britain, I think they might be. I just never got it. Didn't ABBA come from the Eurovision Song Contest? Yeah. They did, didn't they? Yeah, I think they, well, they won it or something. Yeah. Have any major name subs come from Eurovision? I mean, like, when I say major, like a major quality name, someone who's really good. Has anyone ever come from the Eurovision uh, Song Contest? I don't know. Subs? I'm asking that, you yeah. Tell us come on, subs. tell us, subs. I don't know if they have. It's not like Adele was discovered in the Eurovision no, there Song is Contest. Somebody, is there? Somebody. I want to know who. I just don't understand all the fuss. I do like Graham Norton's voiceover, and I did used to quite like Terry Wogan. Obviously, I think it's funny Terry Wogan. Yeah, obviously it's that sort of brogue you know who Irish have thing. Ryan, and I love Ryan. That's Graham Norton. No, Ryan does it now. No, it's though, not. Isn't it's it? Graham Norton who does the voiceover. Oh. Yeah. He couldn't host his show this week because he was doing that. That is not a headline you want to read. Toxic air pollution is damaging every human organ and nearly every cell. Um, How does that make sense? Do you think that's why we now have one in two people with cancer? Possibly. Possibly. One in two? One in two people get cancer? 90% of the world population are enduring toxic outdoor air. A bigger killer than tobacco. They, they've, got a gui they've got a list of guidelines as to how to... How to Stay healthier, but listen to what they are. What? Avoid spending long periods in places where pollution builds up. But we live in it. Like our road. We uh, live in it. Don't, don't believe that because you're travelling in cars, you're not subject to the same pollution as normal pedestrians. You are. Shit. Totally fucked from driving then. Sometimes I used to, with some of my cars, feel more asthmatic when I was driving. Is that a thing, guys? I sometimes worried that the air con was actually making me worse. Um, they're actually saying go to work earlier so that you can avoid the rush air. Oh God. And they also say when you're traveling on bikes, we walk. Live on the main road. Yeah, and they're saying when you're traveling by bike, foot, uh, or bike or foot, to take side roads, not main roads. Uh, yeah. I mean, one of the things the doctor did say to us: we live on a hill. Is that, the, is that the pollution the sinks? Rises. Oh, the pollution heat rises. rises. So the pollution heat is rises. Rise. Yeah, no, no, no. But the density of some gases does do does pollution sink or rise? Is that why when you look at London at certain times in some cities and the pollution's there, you can see it? It go. It's higher than the actual ground level. Was that wishful thinking? I mean, wishful thinking? When I run down a hill from our road, I can smell the pollution or the car fumes as I pass through it. So it feels like it gets lower. Are there any scientists out there who can help us on this little statistic? 
I now no longer run on the streets. I always run at Crystal Palace as a matter of you course. Know, my mum was saying that to you. Yeah, and I'm worried I've already She's done right. the damage. Your, your mum was right. She's always right when she said. Betty sends emails that says, "Stop! You will die." She literally does. Literally does, and then you read it, and you, it's just horror, horror and fear and worry. But it's always strangely accurate. Mm. I do believe that your mum is somehow plugged into some database somewhere, and she yeah. just is given all the latest information on everything. <coughs> Refer to Betty. She is the human manifestation of Google. Isn't she, your mum? Mm, that dressing is nice. I'm looking forward to going on holiday, actually, with your mum and dad. It'll be nice. It rarely is there time just to sort of sit back and just chill, is there? I think I'll going on holiday. We're going on holiday. Right, has anyone heard of a company called Richer Sounds, where you can buy your sort of, you know, hi-fi equipment and stuff like that. No. Well, listen to this, this is inspiring. This is inspiring and I wish this happened more often. But Julian Richer, the CEO, Chief Executive Officer of the, of the company, multimillionaire, very successful, has put 60% of his shareholdings of his company into a trust fund for all of his employees. No. And he, yeah. And he's quoted as saying... That's a boss of the century. Yeah, that's boss of the century, Julian Richer. We love you. Oh, wow. And he says... This is interesting, though. Listen to this. Capitalism is inherently evil because it's based on greed. So you have to rely on some people to do the right thing. And I hope I'm doing the, the right thing oh for my, my staff. Oh, my God. Is it good news? Good news. I, he, I've got to like him. You know why? He's wearing the same pink shirt I wore at my wedding. Got to put that on Twitter because my Twitter account. I don't know if that you is really great. Follow me. Can I just say, Twitter. Julian Richard, I want you for mayor. I don't know if any of you guys follow me on Twitter. Well, I know some of you do, but I've made my Twitter page now for only for good news. That's all I'll report on there. Really? Because I think there's so much. Is that why bad. you haven't posted anything for a month? <laughs> so that's <laughs> why I call it the good news or nice news channel. I'm going to post that because that is. That is good news, news, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's lovely news. And uh, I love the headline because he now feels richer in spirit rather than richer in cash. Yeah, but that's probably because he's really rich. Yeah, he must be very <laughs> rich. I mean, I wonder how rich he is to be able to afford mm. that. But no, I don't want to take away from it as a concept. It's a good that's one. It's lovely. like John Lewis. It's what John Lewis used to do. Mm, that's really nice. I wasn't sure about this. Is that for me? I swapped the coriander for spinach because you don't like oh, coriander. Nice. I love spinach though. This is your Joe Wicks. Which one? Seared tuna. Oh, yeah. With Asian slaw. So the dressing was really nice. Soy sauce, sriracha, oh. lime juice. But what I did, and it's really thick when you do it, so I just added a bit of water wow. so that it would go all over the dressing. Oh, it's really nice. It's nice? spicy. Oh, well it's a bit nutty. It does look nice. And really, really chew that, Mark, because it will stop you feeling hungry. Don't just shove it in. It will stop you feeling hungry. Yeah. If you chew, chew, chew. Yeah. And it'll make you feel like you're having a bigger dinner than you are. Tell them what happened. We had an accident today. We had dead lunch at breakfast time, didn't we? <laughs> we went out and everything went a bit much more smoothly than we thought it would at the passport office. Yeah, so ridiculously somewhere in our head, smooth. We'd obviously said, oh, it's going to take hours at the passport office. So after the passport office, we'll go for a nice lunch. Yeah. So we just, after the passport office, oh, I see. went to have lunch. We just assumed lunch was it, happening. sat down and went, shit, it's only 10 past yeah. 11. And you'd had your breakfast at 10 o'clock. That's right, come here. What? Look at us with our glasses. I know, we're old. We look like, we look like two old Harry, dears. Old Harry Potter old dears. I know. My God, when did that happen? What happened? There's a movie out at the moment, I think, called Beats, and it's all about these guys trying to go to a rave in 1989, which is what I spent most of my time doing. And now look at me. Oh my God, guess what I nearly watched last night, or saw some of, and it was horrendous. That show where they have sex. What show? Have you seen it? There's a new show. You know, they had a show on Channel 4 where people just got naked. Now they have a show where people talk about having sex or not having enough sex, and then they have sex, and oh, then people talk about it. Shut the they front film door. it, and the front montage I mean, trailer teeth. I know, and the teeth. Why don't they just make really good dramas and really good documentaries? But the teaser had black and white night vision footage of them humping like rabbits. Oh, Mark, did you really have to say that? It was bad as the bloody program. I'm not. <laughs> I had to look up because I was doing something else. And when I heard it, I thought, what the hell is that? It sounds like they're blowing up a bicycle. Just Ooh. squeezed a little lime. And now it's going into sesame seeds. Jesus. Well, I really, I, I tell you what, I really do like these recipes. Um, by the way, guys, we're not getting paid anything by Joe Wicks to do no, this. You might think say. we are. We've paid the whole bloody, we've paid all yeah. the money. It's not hashtag gift either. Yeah, and I haven't paid for, I haven't paid for his love. 
His love is just coming of his free own volition. He's having, he feels forced to contact me from his wet room. It's a wet room, isn't it? He's sat on a stool in his <laughs> wet room, not having even exercised, having watched me you exert myself. Me. Don't know what's going on there. It's a bit strange, but I'm up for it. I'm jealous of this man now. Somebody asked me the other day, why do they never see what I have for dinner? Yeah, well, uh, thank you. I asked the same question. What do you ever eat? Well, I, I've usually... Why don't we? Well, no, I, I've usually... I usually just have a bit of what everyone else is having with a big salad, don't I? Mm, really? But I pick a lot. Mm, I love picking. I know I shouldn't. It's terrible. I don't take my own advice. Um... I think I'm going to make that for myself now. I love it. I'm going to make some for yeah. me. Nice. I read somewhere, Maddie came up to me the, uh, yesterday and she said, Dad, 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 you've got to stop eating raw salmon. Apparently it's full of creatures. Well, I don't like to say to you about salmon. It's Kay, I worry about the amount what? of salmon she eats. Why? Well, I mean, this salmon, it's got a lot of mercury in, which is really, really bad for you. But I don't want... We've polluted our seas, baby, and the fish is in the sea. Do you want to hear celebrities sharing their virginity stories? No, I don't. <laughs> who is it? Ha <laughs> ha you're intrigued. No, but who's, no, I'm intrigued at who's doing it. Do you want to hear about the science of arousal? No. <laughs> <laughs> what next? <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to find out. A rush of blood to the head. Lovely. Huh? Which is what it feels like. What? A rush of blood to the head. Right, who are the celebrities talking about? Sindhu V, Alex Fox, Dan Savage, Russell Kane, Desiree Birch, Matthew Todd. I've never heard of any of them. <laughs> Who are they? I've never heard of any of them. Like a, like a virgin. Like a Six virgin. celebrities. They're stretching the idea of a celebrity here, aren't they? I mean, I'm sure they're all lovely, but celebrity I don't is one who is celebrated. That's what it actually means in the di in the thingy. Do you want to hear about how someone overhauled their life one orgasm at a time? No thanks. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Do you want a tuna steak salad? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds nice. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. We love you, Joe. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting Nadia to wear a beard piece, so it's just like you cooking. You're getting too weird now. I'm not talking about a merkin on, the, on your chin. Right, come on, turn it on. Do you know what a merkin is? Yes. What is a merkin? Tell a everyone. merkin is a fanny wig. <laughs> if you wore a merkin on your chin, you'd look, like Joe, you'd look like Joe Wicks. I'd love a merkin. Why? Because I'd like a good old fashioned 70s bush. <laughs> so would I. Oh, that's why I love you. You're an old-fashioned guy. I am an old-fashioned guy. You don't guy. want bald I like bird. to get hairs in your teeth. Mark! <laughs> if you keep that in, if you... That is fork. <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> Kiki, say what you've just said. It smells like down here. That's not nice. It's tuna. <laughs> you've got to show Kiki something on your phone. Oh, Kiki, look Check at this. Check this out. Oh, it's up in my bedroom. Go and get okay, my Run and get my phone. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's going to yeah. make you laugh. We are. I'm going to edit. Hello, well. Hey? Hello. Oh, did you say hello? Just said hello, well. <laughs> did you hear that, Subs? Hello, Bob. Did it? Siri just went LOL. Laugh out loud. He's talking to us. I tell you what, I think. It's not Siri, though, is it? What is it, Siri? What is it? I, whoever's in that thing over there, I think it's Nan. Weird. I think Nan's there, possessing it and talking to us. Can we take a nice photo of that so we can show Joe? I couldn't help it. I had to say hi, Angela. I had I to say it. Say that again. What? Well, I'm in your bed. <laughs> just have to. Me record. and Johnny were like hanging out in my room, and then we were just talking, and then I, it was like when Nan said Brexit. I couldn't <laughs> help it. I had to say hi, Angela. <laughs> me and Johnny were actually scared because it was like something from a horror film. Actually, had to say it like. Oh no my joke. god! It wasn't Andrea, was it? Angela. Hi, Angela. Uh, do you know anyone called Angela? No. <laughs> do any of us know anyone called Angela? Well, that's a really odd concept for a horror, isn't it? But you Forced know, to yeah. say. Kiki can smell words. Yeah, but she's really odd. Yeah, she can. 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 Y
Nisi. Anyway, look at this. You're going to like this, Kiki. It's going to make you laugh. So, um, Daddy, very early this morning, got up and did his exercises. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? We love you, Joe. <laughs> yeah, do you want to show Joe what you mean? Look, Joe. Joe. Look. <laughs> you <a> broke man. <laughs> don't, you think, don't you think if Mum put a beard on, she'd look like him? Oh yeah. That's <laughs> Kiki. <laughs> put a beard on now. Find a beard. <laughs>